Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that you guys have built for the recent challenge. And if you missed the challenge video, the, the main aim was to try and build something using mainly these textures here. Um, there were a few other rules and restrictions, but, uh, but you can find them in the video itself, which should appear somewhere in the top corner anytime now. Anyway, let's get started. So this first one was made by Blork, and while they have used some additional textures for, for some of the decorations, the, the room itself looks to be made purely from the challenge PDF. And, uh, and yeah, they, they've managed to squeeze quite a lot of detail into just this single little room. Okay, next we have this room that Kaylee built, and as you can see in a close-up any time now, um, the little altarpiece is especially nice. And we even get a character's eye view, so very nicely done. Next up is Suicide King's throne room, and I have to say some of you guys have got strange usernames, but uh, anyway, um, they've gone full 3D with this build, and, uh, and really gone to town on the throne. Okay, this one's been made by Mimi Chris, and yes, that's how the name's pronounced, and apparently this is their first ever attempt at crafting anything for D&D. And a really nice thing about this one is the fact that if you lift up the little blue curtain, there's a secret entrance behind that, and that leads to a whole other room beneath the raised platform. Right then, I, uh, I think I'm going to go with Medieval Man for this username, and, uh, and they've took a slightly different approach, and instead of building lots of little rooms, they've made a single room that can be changed around to represent, I think it was, nine different areas for an adventure that they were planning. And uh, I also like what they've done with the walls on this one. Okay, this next one, it's, well, it's, it's just full of character. Um, there's no other way to describe it, really. So, uh, yeah, Wookie Kev has done a great job on this one. It's, it's just a cool little build. I mean, there's even a map on the table. Now, this one, made by Dakar, is kind of a challenge in and of itself. And when we get to the second picture, we can now see how it looks when it's all laid out. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let this picture speak for itself. And next up is this rather nice tomb by Ink Junkie, and as you can see, they've made good use of the mummies, the coffins, and the shrouds to, to really spice things up a bit. Okay, this next one came as a bit of a surprise, but uh, it actually works really well. Um, it's called The Throne of the Monkey King, and it was made by Echo. Right then, I think Onion, Onion, I think Orion Noir said that they would like to have added a few more things to this one, um, but they simply ran out of time. Um, even so, it still looks pretty good to me. And I think that's all of the pieces that were posted over on Discord, and if you head on over there yourself, there's a link in the description, you can see some of the work in progress pictures of some of these projects. Anyway, we're not quite done yet, as I was also sent a few pictures via social media and stuff, so let's take a look at some of those. Okay then, here's another throne room, this time by Kelly, and as you can see, this one's a nice mix of 3D and 2.5D. Next we have a fully 3D prison cell piece, and uh, I'm not sure if it was Alex's intention or not, but uh, I reckon this could also double as a storage box to, to transport a bunch of scatter terrain. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I quite like this idea. Now, here's another one that took me by surprise again, as Eric Wolf has somehow managed to take the challenge textures and make them into a beach scene. Um, so, yeah, uh, I never would have thought of something like that myself. And this room, by Les, um, looks like it's set up for a pretty interesting encounter, but uh, what made me smile about this one was Les's comment about the whole thing making them feel like a kid again. Um, you know, waiting until the last minute to turn in the homework. So, uh, that did make me smile. And finally, of course, I had to have a go at the challenge myself, so this is what I came up with. And I am slightly disappointed that I couldn't find a use for all of the textures, but uh, I'm still pretty happy with how it's turned out. 
So I think that's all of the pictures that I've received. Um, I do apologise if I've missed any. Um, trying to sort through old Facebook posts is a bit of a nightmare at times, but uh, even though the challenge is officially over, you can of course still have a go at building something with these textures and uh, you can still send me pictures of what you've made. In fact, if anyone does do that, I'll have a pinned comment down below where I'll try to link to any late entries. So yeah, thanks to everyone that took part. Um, it's been really good to see all the different ideas that people had and I think we'll have to do this again um, sometime in the future. So thanks for watching. Um, let everyone know what you thought of their ideas and which ones you might be stealing for your own projects. And I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.